In our next reaction um, example here uh, from the lecture guide, we've got um, a redox reaction with calcium uh, that's elemental reacting with dichromate ion, which is a polyatomic ion, producing calcium ion and chromium-3 ion. Now, again, the process for step one here is to identify the half reaction. So it looks like calcium is going to produce calcium 2 plus in this reaction. Okay. And uh, the other half reaction, we have dichromate. That's the whole chemical structure there of this chemical species here. Okay. Is being transformed to chromium 3 plus. Step two is to balance the element. Calcium is balanced. Chromium here is not balanced. To balance this chemical reaction, we need to put a two in front of the chromium. Okay, there's a two here, so it means we need a two here. So now chromium is balanced. Step three is to balance oxygen with um, waters. Oxygen is balanced here. There is none. Now there's seven water, seven oxygens here. Okay. And so what we need is to add um, 14 water molecules, okay? There are, why did I say 14? Um, let me go back and I was getting carried away. Seven water molecules, okay? So seven times one oxygen is seven O's, and here we have seven O's, so oxygen is balanced. Now here's where I need 14. We want to balance the hydrogen on this side here. Hydrogen is balanced already. Okay, so we can skip that step. Now here we have seven times two is 14 H's. Okay, the way we balance hydrogens in acidic solution is to add 14 H plus. So over here on the left, we need to add 14 H with a positive charge for the, um, the positive charge on the hydrogen, okay? Now the next step here is to balance the charge with um, electrons. So we've got neutral calcium with a charge of zero. We've got a plus two charge here. So we add electrons to the more positive side. We need to bring this value down to zero. So we need to subtract two. The way we subtract two in a charge is by adding two electrons. Electrons are negative. So the way we compute the charge on the right hand side is plus two minus two is zero. All right, over here the charge might be a little bit harder to figure out. Each H plus is plus one in charge, but we have 14 of them. So 14 times plus one is plus 14. Dichromate, one dichromate, polyatomic ion, has a charge of minus two. So the total charge on the left here is plus 12. On the right, we have two times positive three is plus six. And we have seven times zero, the charge of water is zero, so seven of those is zero. So the total charge here is plus six, okay? We need to bring this value down to match. We add electrons to the more positive side. We need to subtract six from this positive 12 to give us um, equal charge. How do we add a negative six? Well, we can't, but we can add electrons which are negatively charged. We want to add six electrons. So this is our half reaction now in its total balanced uh, state. All right. Step six is to find a common multiple. This reaction consumes six electrons. This reaction produces three, uh, two electrons. So we need to make these equal by multiplying every coefficient in this equation by three. And that gives us three calciums going to three calcium ions and producing six electrons. Now the six electrons are gonna cancel with the six electrons here when we add these two equations up together. The final result is gonna be three calcium. Okay, the left-hand side here needs to be added to all the left-hand sides here. 
I'm going to go ahead and put um, my labels on my final answer for the states and dichromate. reaction arrow and now I'm going to add all the right hand stuff together so we have three calcium ions aqueous two chromium ions aqueous and of course we have seven liquid water molecules all right so that right there um, if we can box it up would be the total balance redox equation